off energy. Well, I cannot even imagine. And just for example, last night, you did a show last night that was 90 minutes starting at 7.30. That's right. Then you went through that. Then you came here. You're here this morning. That's right. Uh, doing all of this. It's nonstop. I don't sleep anymore. <laughs> no. All right. So where do you get the energy? Seriously. I mean, look at you. Well. I mean, I, we've known each other a long time. Yeah. We've passed. You don't, you don't ever get older. Well, thank you. <laughs> It's, it's quite funny because, you know, people are kind of shocked when they hear that I'm 54 years old and, and they say, Where, how do you keep your youth? I have found something, Dr. Phil, that uh, I think is the closest thing to the fountain of youth. Oh, you do have a secret. I have a secret and I've never really talked about it. Well, I've been doing this for the last didn't. two years. <laughs> it's called Protandum and it works. And I'm telling everybody about this. You feel differently. I do. You want to get an edge on turning back the clock with just a few pills? Who doesn't? Well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility, a potential breakthrough. As I found out firsthand, there may be a way to erase years, at least inside my body. Granted, it's down the road, but some scientists are wondering if a new pill I took might offer a very long life. I'm about to become part of an exciting experiment. A kind of guinea pig. Dr. McCord, okay. I'm here at the University of Colorado in Denver to meet Dr. Joe McCord. His latest research could very well unravel the mystery of aging itself. May have the potential of adding years to people's lives and possibly prevent chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. It all centers around this small yellow pill. For a long time, scientists thought that antioxidant vitamins like C and E would lower it, but they don't. As it's turned out in just the last five years or so, we see that they're not good enough tools. They're not powerful enough. But this pill, he says, is powerful enough. It is a slow progression of increasing oxidative stress. That's the main characteristic biochemically of the aging process. Oxidative stress is not a disease, just like aging is not in itself a disease, but it's something that accompanies and is attached to, to many disease processes. With that swallow, I've just become part of a potentially landmark scientific experiment. Will Pretendum work on me? Well, perhaps. It turns out there is some other promising evidence that seems to back up Dr. McCord's findings. Protandum is a combination of five plant ingredients. Some you may know, green tea or turmeric, a spice used in Indian cooking. Others, with Thania somnifera and Silibum marianum, are more exotic. There's a huge human experience with each of these ingredients. Uh, they've been used often in traditional medicine in India and China and uh, many other cultures. In some cases, centuries and centuries. High oxidative stress is associated with more than aging. It's been linked to hundreds of illnesses. It's at the very center of many diseases. Liver disease, diabetes, emphysema, asthma. Uh, uh, I've studied all of these. Strokes, heart attacks. Even mental disease? Yes. Depression? Alzheimer's disease, depression. Are you saying that this could be a cure-all? You're looking at something that will have a, a, a small impact, uh, but an important impact. Clinical studies to assess protandum in both diabetes and heart disease should start in three to four months. But what about everyone's old nemesis, aging itself? We may reduce some of the uh, bad side effects of aging. Why my skin is different than that of a baby, for example. That's a very obvious part of the aging process. But what about my progress? After nearly two weeks now, it's time to get my results. My level of oxidative stress has declined dramatically. 45%, that's, that's excellent. Just look at where I fall on the graph, before and after. Which, if extrapolated back, is, is the level you would see in a newborn baby. Have we turned back the clock? Well, maybe not on the outside, but deep inside within my cells. Yes, indeed.